Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again in this lush tropical paradise. Mother nature, baby. But are you holding on to something from your past that's now holding you back? How to free yourself from guilt, missed opportunities. Oh no, darn it. And past toxic energies. Let's just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We've got a whole lot to talk about. I've got a great question that came in. If you've got a question, don't email me. I get thousands there. The best place is to add me on Instagram at infinite waters. Someone asked, beautiful lady, Ralph, I had this great job opportunity. I missed this opportunity. I can't forgive myself. My whole entire life would have changed. And I actually forgot to read the email. Okay. And I've also received a lot of other messages from people who are like, Ralph, I really screwed up in the past. I was a terrible person. I have a lot of guilt, a lot of regret. Okay, I'm carrying around also a lot of past toxic energies from past relationships. Deep Diver, is that you, Deep Divers? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Free myself from guilt. That's right. Missed, missed, oh my gosh, I'm crying about it. Missed opportunities. I've missed a lot. And past toxic energies baby baby we are about to dive deep it first starts with this realize where you were at that point in your life you could have been 15 16 21 i have no idea what age you were when you completely missed that opportunity that you completely missed that opportunity that would change your life forever what happened you fell asleep don't worry about it right you were completely rude to that person in your past and you can't forgive yourself for it. We are all carrying around so much heavy energy from our past. And what has freed me is to realize where I was in my past. Do you know that I used to go to a lot of nightclubs, sometimes every single week and drink, take shots and all of these things before I was woke and conscious, right? Because I thought, gosh, this is what my friends are doing at school. And a lot of children are doing it right now. But you have to realize your level of consciousness. You see, everybody has something they've done in their past they're not incredibly proud about. But you have to learn to forgive yourself. Be gentle with yourself because now you are a new person. Mm. Yikes. Slow motion this side. Mm. You can keep thinking about it. I should have done this. I should have done that. But it won't change the fact and it's already happened. Now we've got to start looking forward. You see, what's helped me along my journey is to realize this. What controls your mind controls your life. Slow motion this side. So start becoming aware of how you feel and how it's actually affecting your health. Overthinking will affect your health in a negative way, unless you are overthinking about stuffing a whole bunch of grapes in your mouth. Seven day vegan challenge, okay? How to free yourself from guilt, past toxic energies and missed opportunities. What's helped me along my journey is to realize this, that you can't control life, but you can control your mind, which can control life. Slow motion this side. Mm. It's fire today and the sun is up there. It's hot, hot and beautiful today, right? So I've realized this, that we don't, we don't, no, we don't control life. We don't control what happens to us, but we can control our mind and actually influence the outside world. What we are going through internally in our mind has an influence on the outside world. If you keep beating yourself up, if you keep blaming yourself, you're only putting more fuel on the fire, only making the situation worse. Okay, I sometimes give myself a hard time saying, gosh, Ralph, you should have woke up faster. 
and started to inspire people even younger. But I'm like, at least I did the best I could with what I had, okay? So I'm very gentle with myself and that's how I free myself from guilt, missed opportunities and past toxic energies. It's time for a new start. You see, I've realized that it's all about action, okay? Because many times we get into a very feeling sorry for ourselves state. Cancel your pity party, I'm not coming. Neither is the cat down the road, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see, I was having lots of pity parties, feeling sorry for myself, thinking back on the past. Oh, I should have, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't. It's okay. You're human. Oh, you're an alien. That's another story. Okay. It's okay. Now we have to act and take the next best move. We have to step into radical action to say, okay, what is this? What is the most sensible thing? the wisest thing, the best thing I can do right now that can assist my level of evolution. So for a long time, I was blaming myself that, gosh, I was eating meat for a long time, but I've been a vegan for over 13 years. So when I think about it, actually, I'm not doing too bad, right? So I go into Whole Foods or the local farmer's market, buy a beautiful smoothie. And I'm like, I forgive you, Ralph. I, I forgive you as I gush it down, okay? seven day vegan challenge okay i've realized that you have to eat to become present we have to learn how to masticate our food not masturbate masticate <laughs> which is the art of chewing your food once you are in the present moment you now absorb yourself into the power of now you don't have time to think about what happened last week even though you did screw up because you're enjoying this beautiful pumpkin and butternut squash and mangoes and dates and papayas and papayas and blueberry okay and banana cakes and carrot cakes, okay? Because you are only eating. You're not thinking about something else. When you are exercising as well, this really helps me to free myself from guilt because when I'm skating, I'm like, wee, it feels so good. For that split second, I'm in total harmony, total oneness with the universe. Ain't nobody got time to think about the past. I'm having a blast. That even rhymes right there, right? So. I don't have time to look back. If I'm exercising, I'm in the present moment. I've realized this, that sometimes you've got to talk to people about your problems. Don't feel you have to suffer alone in silence all by your lonesome. You don't have to do that. What really helps me get over guilt, missed opportunities and past toxic energies is to talk to someone about it because they've probably gone through it too. Woo, I'm not the only one, thank goodness, exactly. Don't you feel better now through other people's pain too? That's similar to yours? You bad person, right? <laughs> Look, the more you talk to people, you can share your problems, don't overwhelm them, just talk about it. You'll feel that a whole weight has been lifted off your shoulders, off your chest, and now for the first time you can actually, woo, breathing in that good ass prana you can actually do that you see i've realized this deep divers is that you have to learn the art of forgiveness you see life is a lot easier when you accept an apology they forgot to give you mm. slow motion this side mm. yikes but more so life is far more beautiful when you learn how to forgive yourself. I'm gonna be doing a whole video on the art of self-forgiveness. Cause a lot of us, we simply can't forgive ourselves, okay? For stealing all the vegan cookies, you took them. Ever been in a house with someone sharing maybe a roommate and you put stuff in the fridge, right? And you're like scared or they're gonna steal it and they do, right? You still can't forgive yourself for that, right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I've learned, you've got to learn the art of self-forgiveness. Even if you've been programmed, a programmed slave in the matrix because the Anunnaki programmed your ass, forgive yourself. We know not what we do, right? Forgive yourself that you've been in the matrix, been in a terrible job you don't like. To free yourself from past toxic energies, you got to wash your hands and say, I'm done with the past. Now I'm allowing a new energy to enter my life. Yikes. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Everyone falls. Everyone fails. Everybody makes mistakes. Stop thinking it's only you. That's how you free yourself from guilt. The moment you learn to love yourself 100%. Do you like how I say that? 100%. The moment you learn to accept yourself 100%. Yes, you will actually free yourself from guilt, 
missed opportunities and past toxic energies. There will always be new opportunities, but new opportunities cannot find you if you are still beating yourself up over missed opportunities. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. It's time to realize we are living in a truly abundant universe. There is always more than enough to go around. You see, what's really helped me along my journey is to realize this, that let's just say you can't forgive yourself. You can't, I can't forgive myself. You can't, can you, right? Set time to really think about it, to ponder it, to develop a wider perspective, to open up to a new experience. Let me break it down, how I do it, okay? The three-step process. Really reminisce on that missed opportunity. To think, oh my gosh, yeah, I turned down a great opportunity. Okay, reminisce on it. All those opportunities, it could have been a money uh, payment for you, you turned it down. It could have been a life-changing experience. You wanna go to Brazil for free? Nah, oh my gosh. You could have seen me in Ipanema Beach with some acai bowls for you, right? So take time to ponder and say, actually, okay, at least I'm still alive, right? Take time to ponder to say, actually, at least I'm still alive. There are people on planet Earth who didn't even wake up today. Slow motion this side. You're complaining about how, how bad life is, how bad you don't like your body. At least you've got one. At least you're still alive. Diaphragmatic breathing. Let's talk about it. When I'm pondering in that state of reminiscing, I'm practicing diaphragmatic breathing. That's how to free yourself from past guilt, toxic energies, and missed opportunities. So let's slow down, stop everything. Diaphragmatic breathing, check it. Did I just look like I just found Nirvana? Well, I did, because I was breathing right deep from the base of my spine. You gotta inhale that good shit and exhale that bullshit, <laughs> right? Just the simple art of breathing deep from the base of your spine, increasing, increasing the oxygen flow, getting that blood flowing all around your body, you're gonna start feeling better about yourself to start attracting better conditions into your life. That's how you free yourself from guilt. You see, the body is the subconscious mind. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. And the subconscious mind governs over 95% of your behavior. If you learn how to tap into your body, you can learn how to change your life. If you can learn how to tap into your body and find inner peace, you can learn how to change your life. So. I'm reminiscing, then I'm having a wider perspective to say, actually, yes, I've missed a few opportunities. Yes, I do have baggage from my past. Yes, I am guilty about certain things, but guess what? I'm, one word you gotta say, evolving. Ah, oh, yeah, you are evolving. You are work in progress and you have to allow that metamorphosis because you're not gonna be the same person now in the next five years. You're gonna be so far ahead. You're gonna be flying. Yes, you are, right? Being open to new experiences, what's helped me along my journey, Deep Divers, is to never allow the past to dictate my future. Let me repeat that. Never allow your past to dictate your future. Never allow your past to dictate your future, what you can be or what you can't be. You are infinite. In the present moment is when we decide who we want to be. Can I get a hello there? I'm trying to get that into the next Black Panther film. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good line, right? Never allow your past to dictate your future. <laughs> this is Wakanda out here. This is Wakanda out here. <laughs> so beautiful deep divers, I've realized that, okay, be open to new experiences. Once you are open to new experiences, new opportunities will come your way. I've seen it along my journey. I'm always open and ready for the new. And that's why even if I do screw up in my past, I know right now, in the present moment lie infinite possibilities. I can make this world anything I want. This world can be anything you want. Start rooting for yourself. 
Start becoming your greatest fan. Start hugging yourself, even though you did screw up, even though you didn't check that email where you could have had a potentially life-changing situation. It didn't happen for you. Don't worry, hug yourself. I'll buy you a vegan ice cream right now. Oh, you're smiling right now. And that's how to free yourself from guilt, missed opportunities and past toxic energies. And once you do all of that, well, you just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Yeah. With the sun shining on my face, making a cameo, deep divers have a beautiful day. It is super hot out here, super magnificent. You can be anything. We're just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby infinite waters, diving deep once again, stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, <laughs> tell me about it. Well, Ralph, it's like a whole weight has been lifted off my chest. Like that bird up there is like covering up. It's freeing itself from guilt.